Hey guys, it's Done for Games, and we're back for round three of the top tips for each map in Rainbow Six Siege. This time, the airplane map, Air Force Bum Rush. Airplanes. Let's get right into it because, frankly, I'm amazed you all have the willpower to stop playing long enough to watch my damn video anyway. So, tip number one why work hard when you can cheat? <laughs> I mean, hell, defense in this game is all about getting the enemy to do exactly what you want them to do, or frustrating them so much that they do something stupid. I do stupid shit all the time. They don't even have to make me do it. I'm just dumb at playing this game sometimes. If you set up a deployable shield in the hallway leading to the luggage room, right in the doorway going to the side room, they can't use that doorway. Even if they get into the other room, they can't hop over it. It's kind of like a weird glitch. Glitch isn't the right word. Exploit. It's an exploit. It kind of is an exploit. They're just stuck. They're stuck like rats in that shitty little room. Or they're stuck in the hallway and they can't get into the little room, which is even better if they came down that way. Point is, you can prevent them from being able to use that side door, and they'll have to either come straight down the center hallway directly, which there are a million ways to defend that, or they'll have to thermite in through one of the protected walls, which I'm sure you're protected, on the side, which again, at least you force them now to funnel in through that way. It's a really solid technique. Next up is what my friends have affectionately started to call murder hall. A bunch of wordsmiths they are. Near the front of the plane, especially if you're guarding that meeting room, it's got like a desk and it's just like the one room, death tunnel. If you leave a panel open on either side of the hallway, near the entrance leading towards that room, you can get a nice little intersecting peephole situation going on. Murder hall. As they enter through the main entrance, you can just hit them with crossfire from both sides. <laughs> Chances are if they're smart and they don't have a counter immediately, they'll just back off and enter somewhere else, but that does waste valuable time. But honestly, pride or stupidity usually kicks in, they just keep pushing, they just keep trying, they're like, we can do it! And like, chances are, if you're firing from two sides, they can't dodge and like hide from both sides at once, and you're gonna get one, two, maybe all of them. Entryway gungasm. Can we call it that? Can we call it entryway gungasm instead of murder hall? Just pay attention to what they're doing, because honestly, you can see right outside the plane through the windows. That's how windows work, you can see what they're doing. Which, oh my god, brings me to tip number three, glass. To everyone else on this map, the windows might as well be made of concrete for all the good your bullets are going to do against them. Glass, however, frankly, don't give a shit. To glass, they're just windows, and everyone inside is ripe for the plucking. During the daytime, this is going to be a lot tougher without somebody marking targets, but you still might get a couple good shots. But at night, you can see them so clearly. They might as well just be walking around with giant blinking lights on their chest saying like, Shoot me! I'm here! Get me now! It'd almost be comical if it wasn't so damn effective. Let me know in the comments if you've got a great way for improving visibility for glass during the daytime, because honestly, I'd love to use this technique all the time, but during the day, it is pretty tough to see in those windows. Be careful, because a few glass shots will bust open that window you're firing at, allowing them to shoot out. They could also blow one with C4, I think. I've never actually tried, but you're more likely going to get shot from one of the doors if they peek out. Speaking of which, tip number four. Peeking is devastating on this map. Get off my plane! There are only three starting points, which is unusual in itself, and two of them are one side of the plane. I can't believe I th got through that whole video without a single Harrison Ford Air Force One reference. On top of that, there are plenty of plane exits all up and down the side of the plane to bust out of, so I don't know which way you might be coming from. Beside Air Force Bum Rush. That sucked. And for the most part, it's just open tarmac. There's nothing. There's like one fire truck and like some other shitty thing. Stand cameras before the round starts already have a door busted open so they don't see you like trying to crash through it. They're in the right spot, you can just run out and pop a couple of them. I've seen this destroy an entire team. I want my family back. Honestly, I'd appreciate some early peeking tips because I'm not very good at it. I always seem to kind of look out and they know I'm there. But when done well, this can totally turn the tides of the battle. Uh, so finally, back to the basics here. Tip number five. Do not forget about the top floor of the plane. There aren't even any objectives up there, so it's really easy to just kind of forget it's there. But it's awesome. It's empty up there, making running from one end to the other the fastest of any of the three floors. And there are plenty of ladders and panels leading down to the floor below. Great for attack or defense if you want to try and flank some of the attackers. Allowing the opposing team to take control of that upper hallway is never a good thing. And if it can be avoided, just don't let it happen. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Anyways, guys, I hope these tips were helpful for the plane map. Let me know in the comments any of the tips and tricks that I forgot. Uh, I know there's a bunch that I didn't really have time to mention. If there are any maps you specifically want to see next, let me know that too. I'm going to do them all at some point, but if you want to see some first, definitely hit me up. Like the video if you've ever been shot by a glass through a window, because that's how I originally found out about this tip. It was done to me over and over again this one round. I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Subscribe if you're new. I've got new content coming each week, and I really want to see you guys back. So, uh, thanks for watching. Joey! Good work. Hot and ah. Why does he sound like that? So that's just me. That's shitty impersonation.